welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're organising all my transfer foils. I'm in a bit of a mess at the moment. This video has been a long time coming because this is the situation. I kind of got irritated with my old organisation method, which is these guys here. Although they're super beautiful, they're just not quite functioning right. So I just need to organise all my transfer foils. That's basically what we're doing today. These are my old storage. These are Insta mini album photo holders, I think. I'm pretty sure I got these from Paper Chase a couple of years ago. Don't know if they're still available. They are beautiful. They're really cool. But I just find that they're awesome. I mean, I mean they store a lot of foils in them. This is kind of how I've got most of my foils in at the moment. But I'm just finding that... I filled up three of them already and they're just getting a bit full and bulky and I kind of don't know where to store them in the studio. So my idea is to transfer them all in to these guys here. So these are little name card holders, they're from Amazon, I'll link them in the description box down below so you put your business cards in and they're clear so I think these will be really easy. They're quite slim and small and compact so I could probably put them in my drawer on the side. So many nail techs use these guys in their storage and organisation. I saw loads of text posting about them on Instagram. So yeah, definitely not my idea but I nabbed this idea for this storage project. This is where a ton of foils are. I kind of got lazy and took them out of these and then didn't put them back in because I knew I was going to reorganise them. And I also have a bunch of new foils and bits in this bag here so i thought i'd unbox it with you guys on the camera now they're all from dixie plates pretty much i would say 80 to 90 percent of all the foils i have are pretty much all from dixie plates they have my favorite favorite foils loads of unique ones so yeah winner for me also I'm really excited because Kate who owns Dixie Plates so lovely she has sent through some extra foils for you guys to win in a giveaway so if you want to find out all the details for the giveaway please check the description box down below I'll be putting all the rules and instructions and stuff of how you can enter to win all these beautiful foils and yeah without further ado I'm gonna flip the camera around face it down because I feel like that would just be a bit easier and yeah let's get cracking let's organize this this has been a long time coming so i'm really excited to get this all sorted i'm just gonna pop some gloves on because my nails are currently mismatched and that will drive me nuts when i'm editing <laughs> so first of all i'm just gonna dive straight into all my new foils because they have been sitting in this bag for a couple of weeks now so i just want to get straight into it and have a look at them so i'm just gonna get into this empty these all out so these are all my new foils i'm literally so excited oh i've missed a few there's some more new foils here in a little separate bag so let's go through them all so these guys again they're all from dixie plates i totally forgot to mention guys i do have a discount code for dixie plates i'll pop it in the description box down below so you can save some pennies off your order but right let's crack on let's have a look see what's in here so i'm a little bit obsessed with this style foil i've done some oyster shell nails and this is what i used to create it i also layered it on top with these i mixed these two foils together to create that effect so i'm so excited when i saw kate who owns sixty plates she was bringing out different colours of this foil. I was so excited. So yeah, got some of them. I love green. So that is literally making me very excited. So I got some of those. Also, these guys are staring at me. I'm loving the look of these. There are some clear iridescent ones as well. And they're some of my favourites. Like I said, I love to layer these. They're like clear iridescent. They kind of almost look holographic on the nails. They're really beautiful. Different like prints and patterns. That almost looks like the seaside. Got some metallics and wiggly ones. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Rose gold and matte rose gold can't go wrong with them they're a staple okay oh my gosh these ones i'm so excited for i'm so excited so there's this one here opal tides oh my gosh i do like the jars but i just find that they take up so much room let's have a look at this oh my gosh wow i don't know if this is going to pick up on camera look how stunning that is i've not seen anything like that before that is beautiful 
Oh wow, this one looks really cool. Like a worn look. I love that, I'm obsessed. Yeah, there's loads of, they all seem to be like little marbly effects. Some really, really beautiful, beautiful foils. I really like these ones in the jars. I feel like they've got some really nice textures to them. So if you like the kind of stone marbly effects, these ones are definitely lush. There are some of those ones. Also, a little heads up, I get asked a lot, what is my favorite foiling polish? So this is the one I use. It's from Lacente. It's their foil gel. And yeah, this is the one that I use for doing full coverage foils and all the like the detail bits where you can foil over like with golds and stuff. It's my favourite one. I just find, I mean, you can see it's well loved, but I just find the viscosity is really nice. It's easy to work with and do all the fine details. So definitely really really highly rate this this is definitely my favorite one i've tried so far i'll make sure i link it in the description box down below for you guys as well but yeah just thought i'd mention that as i get asked about it quite a lot i just thought i'd show you quickly this is where i store all my little water decals so I thought I'd show you because then you can kind of see how you can put other things in it. Little bags of glitter also fit nicely. But this is where I put all my like little water decals in. They fit in here really nicely. And you can fit so many in. So yeah, I also use it for water decals. And yeah, it just keeps it nice and compact. Let's start by going through all of these and I'm going to take out all of the foils. I feel like it's going to take a while, especially taking all of these out. I, and I want it to be nice and organised so that when I'm doing clients' nails, it's really efficient for me to be able to get in and see. I have a lot of foils built up over very many years. But yeah, so I definitely need this kind of storage. This is the best way of storing it for me because it keeps them flat and I can fit as many in as possible. guys a little bit of izzy cam action here but i've separated most of the foils out now into colors so silvers clear and black kind of golds and rose golds and like baby pinks purples and bright pinks reds oranges yellows greens and blues these are kind of like floral and patterns which are kind of falling all over the place and i've still got to go through and organize these and pop these now into here making progress okay guys i've got all the green and the blue foils out and i'm gonna start organizing them into here i think i'll start with green and then work my way towards like more turquoises and then to blues and yeah just see how we get on so i'll start with the really pale greeny colors and pop them into the folder first i reckon and yeah just see how it all goes they should fit in here really nicely i think this is actually going to take me so long to set this whole system up but as soon as it's all organized oh it's gonna be great i just know it i just know it
purples, rose golds next. I might roughly put them into kind of piles because I feel like this is going to get confusing. Okie dokie, so there is that one done. So I've got all my rose golds, pale pinks, pinks to purples, dark purples in here. Oh my goodness, guys, here they all are. I have filled the books completely. There is a couple of spaces left in these books, but they're, other than that, they're pretty much full to the brim. I ended up adding all the patterned ones that were kind of a similar colour to what was in the rest of the book at the backs. So these are all my rose golds and pinks and purples. So I added all the patterned, printed foils in the backs that were more pinky purpley tones and the same for all like the greens and blues i added all the greeny blue prints and patterns and then so on and so forth for the rest i am so happy i managed to fit them in these four folders and they look so good i'm gonna i feel like it's gonna be so much easier when i'm working and it's gonna be so much more time efficient and i'll be able to quickly look in here find the foil i'm after and grab it out 
so yeah i'm really happy with how they turned out all i need to do now is label the front and label the sides and then they are all done And then to finish off the organisation, I've just got one of these boxes. These are from Dunelm. You can also get them from B&M and Storage Box Company. But yeah, I use these in the insides of all my drawers as drawer organisers. So I thought I could pop all these guys. Hopefully they'll fit. Oh my gosh. Yes, perfect fit. This is probably the most efficient and space saving way that I have found for storing foils and especially say if you're mobile you could fit all your foils in one of these that takes up hardly any room i'm really happy with that and now i'm gonna pop that in my drawer this is the drawer that's below all my nail art and acrylics and stuff this is where i keep all my most used files from fire sculpture and willow they are all in there and also all my scrub brushes and these are those pots that i was talking to you about and showing you which is what I've got these guys in here and I'm just going to pop that in there so it fits. So it's literally right to the side of me. I can quickly grab out and pop them away and that's all my foils. So it is much, much later now. It's actually gone midnight and I've still got my gloves on but I've just finished organising all of my foils. They just fit into the four folders. I'm gonna label them on the sides here and on the front to let me know kind of what colors are in them. But yeah, I'm so happy with how they turned out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more organization videos. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.